Well, hey everybody there in YouTube land. This is Rock and Spirit coming to you live. I just wanted to give you a little bit of an encouragement and uh, I listen to a program pretty much every day um, and it, it gives you biblical wisdom and encouragement um, and, and I just love listening to this person and gleaning uh, perspective and and coming into an agreement with her as well based on what I know the scripture says and basically this is on prayer and the Bible tells us to pray without ceasing let our requests be made known to God and um, and basically when we pray to God we should pray with outwavering we should pray with Thanksgiving trusting that God is hearing our prayers and that he's going to answer them in his time and according to his will now you might say well I've prayed and prayed and prayed on this and my prayers are just not getting answered well scripture tells us that when we walk according to God's will and we pray for those things that God sets in our heart he is going to answer those and he's going to answer those in his time and sometimes prayers can take a lifetime before they're answered they could take 20 years but you need to pray with thanksgiving and expectation that um, your prayers are going to be answered and you know what if your prayers do not get answered keep believing without wavering thanking god and continue to pray for those things and if god does not answer those prayers you can take comfort in this that god's answers are best so if he is pausing because he's saying not now he is aligning those things in the circumstances and in in the life and in other people that you might be praying for before he delivers that you know things need to be seasoned just like uh, cooking uh, a special dish sometimes takes a lot of ingredients a lot of components in that dish and then slow cooking to get the best result and then you will have an amazing product at the end and God does that sometimes too and if God does not answer your prayers, it could be that is because it is not best for you. Um, think about some of the things that you prayed in the past. And today, you probably can look back and say, oh, I am so glad that God did not answer that prayer according to the way that I asked because it would have not been beneficial. And sometimes we pray amiss. You know, we are not praying for the things that God would want for us and what's best. We're praying from our own flesh or selfishness. And um, we wouldn't want him to answer those because, you know, the Bible does say, be careful what you pray for, okay? Because sometimes, you know, God might let you have those things um, that were prayed for amiss. And you know what? It's not gonna turn out well. And that's a learning lesson, you know? So um, don't waver when you pray and be patient and ask God what he would have you pray. And then you know what? keep on keeping on you know stay occupied stay busy don't just sit there uh, like a lump on a log and wait for those prayers to be answered you know because you know we're in a relationship with God and God wants us to do our part you know we ask him for the things that we desire okay and then we stay occupied and we work as if those prayers have been answered we get up we occupy we keep pressing on and watch him open the doors and if he doesn't open them find out the door that he's opening in accordance with that prayer you know be looking for those other doors um, the opportunities that he is saying yes to and keep yourself busy keep yourself moving on and um, be in relationship with God be in partnership with him um, you know a lot of times we don't just sit there and God is not our our genie that is just gonna your wish is my command God wants us to be responsible and respectful and to be diligent in our work and when we pray for something something generally it takes a part of um, dedication and devotion like let's say you're sick and you have a disease and most likely the diseases come from your actions to begin with and you want God to relieve that and spare you and take you take that away from you and if he just snapped his fingers your wish is my command and delivered you from that illness would you think about changing things in your life so that that illness did not come back 
see so sometimes God waits for us to get that epiphany and that aha moment hey I need to make some changes and you know what when you make those right changes in partnership with God he rewards us for our faithfulness and for our understanding and so that's what I want to share with you today do your part and let God do the things that you cannot do and he shows his miracles so with that it is rockin spirit getting ready to uh, enjoy the rest of my day and um, keep praying keep believing don't waver be patient occupy yourself and be thankful for whatever the result may be so God bless and make it a great day.